BMW built the compact i3 to look futuristic. Did you hear that? Our car test Amantas Cura jokes? All we hear are the tires on the road and whatever is going on outside. The i3's electric engine is silent. The car does have an additional gasoline range extender engine, but for distances up to 120 kilometers, you don't need it. BMW optimistically claims you can go 160 kilometers on one battery charge, but that's under ideal conditions. The electric engine produces a maximum of 125 kilowatts and 250 newton meters of torque. Unlike in gasoline-powered engines, this power is immediately present. You don't have to build up RPMs to get it. That means the i3 gets off to a very sporty start. Mata says the interior design isn't his cup of tea. The seat upholstery and leather is fine, but the fuzzy fabric in front and on the dashboard seems to him like a lining whose covering is missing. But it does reduce the reflection in the windshield when the sun is in front of you. You see the reflection of the air vent, but not much else. Mata says the seats and the controls are comfortable as you'd expect with BMW. The gear selector lever that allows you to choose forward, neutral or reverse needs some getting used to. And so is the position of the start-stop button behind the steering wheel. Gewöhnungsbedürftig, genau wie die Position des Start-Stop-Knopfes, der hier so hinter dem Lenkrad ist. The i3's exterior is reminiscent of a UFO. That's because of the window placement and from the design of the front. The 19-inch wheels seem sporty at first glance, but they're too narrow to be high performance. A hatch above the rear wheel covers the electrical hookups for normal and rapid recharging. The gasoline engine holds up to 9 liters of fuel. The tank is above the front wheel. So far, our car tester Matis isn't that thrilled, but that could change, right? Mata says one interesting aspect of the car, one that takes some getting used to, is its one-pedal driving. Most of the time you don't need to use the brakes at all because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, the car decelerates very quickly. The electric engine on the rear axle converts all the car's momentum into electrical energy, charging the battery. The i3 handles well, though at high speeds the narrow wheels mean the stability control system often kicks in. The instrument panel's digital display is rather small, but the sat-nav is pleasantly large. The wood of the dashboard is eucalyptus from certified PEFC forests. The seats are made almost completely from recycled materials. Unfortunately, the rear window can't be opened and there is no hand grip. So the i3 goes easy on the environment, not only because it's electrically powered, but because it uses recycled materials. Still, our tester has mixed feelings. The verdict from Matas, the concept, is fascinating, but design is a matter of taste, and the i3 is not his cup of tea. That starts with the unfinished surfaces and continues with the exterior design. He also doesn't like the fact that you can't open the rear door unless the front door is open, and the side windows in the back seat can't be rolled down. Mata says this shouldn't be the case in a car of this price class. But then, the car's price is primarily the result of its advanced electrical engine technology. 
bei einem Auto dieser Preisklasse sollte man das doch eigentlich erwarten, auch wenn hier der hohe Preis natürlich hauptsächlich aus der Antriebstechnologie resultiert.